What I want you to do right now, we're going to set it up. So I want you to under, under Final Cut Express, I want you to click on it and say Hide Final Cut. I want that to disappear for right now. It's still open. We're just hiding it so we don't see it. We're going to create your scratch disk file, and it's going to be on your desktop. So we're going to go up to the Finder, and over to the left is you, we're going to go to File, and we want to say New Folder. And you're going to type it with your last name, File New, and it's going to appear on your desktop. And you're going to call it your last name, AE for audio edit and scratch disk. I've got a two after mine because I did another one in the last hour, so I'm doing it again with section two. All right, and so now that's going to be on your desktop. I want you to go up, open your, open your Final Cut, and we're going to tell Final Cut, your Final Cut project, where you put that scratch disk. So you want to click on Final Cut. You want to go up to Final Cut Express and scroll down to where it says System Settings. What we're going to do is we're going to set the scratch disk. Every time you change projects, every time you change projects, you need to go and change your scratch disk. So if you were working on your commercial, and you're working on this audio edit project, if you are working one day on one and one day on the next, you need to go in and change your scratch disk to the proper one. But this is where it knows to go look for things. One reason we have created separate login icons for each student is so that if you stay inside your login, you should not run into a problem that someone else has set a scratch disk in your final cut. So, so we're going to set your scratch disk. So to do that, you see where it says set. And out to the right, on mine, it says Matthew's AE Project Scratch. Well, that's for section one. That's the one that I did already. So what we want to do is click on the set button and it'll open up for us to find the file you just created on your desktop. So once this opens, click on desktop here in the left and find the scratch disk that you just created and just click on it and say choose. And now my scratch disk says AE2, which is the one I want for this class's project. And let's go up to Final Cut Express and let's hide it again. And then I want you to double click on your scratch disk and you should notice inside there that it's created um, audio render files, a capture scratch, and a render file. Now I've already saved mine so you, my, my Final Cut is here and there's also that audio project folder that I drug in there. But Final Cut sets up this audio render, capture, scratch, and render files because that's where it's going to go to because it's going to be creating stuff that you don't see. And that's where it's going to put things.